G'day guys, Greg here. Well, today I am making a delicious toaster sandwich full of all the things I love. Chicken, bacon, cheese, all those healthy things that'll make you big and strong. Because I tell you what, you don't get a body like this just eating lettuce. Anyway, how about we start making this toasted sanger? So I got some things I'm using here. And for starters, I want to get some things on the cook straight away because these are going to take a little while. So I'll cut up some tomato and I'll just slice this bacon, why not? And these are going straight into the frying pan where they will change their molecular structure and become something even better. Cooked. And while that's becoming cooked, how about, I've got some spring onion here. I'll just chop that into little bits. Now, a lot of people always say, Greg, you're lousy at cutting things. Well, you know what, I've got something to tell you. I don't care, because it's not about how you cut it. It's about how you cook it. Well, sometimes it's about how you cut it, because sometimes you've got to cut things the right way. And, well, how about I just put some butter on some bread as well. Very important part of this process. I still haven't had someone tell me that I spread butter the wrong way. They've complained about everything else, so I'm pretty lucky, I guess, that that's not one of the complaints that I often receive. Although I'm guessing I will receive that in today's video. Now move over butter. I'm done with you. I'll turn it upside down. And I've got some Japanese mayo here. I love this stuff. Tastes so good. I'll give that a good shellacking over the bread there. Right, how's this stuff going? Yep, yep, yep. Time to flip it. I'd say so. This bacon though. Gee. Could be a while till this is ready. Oh, no wonder it's set to three. It needs to be right up there, cranked up high. Well, I might as well just keep assembling this sandwich. So, how about we whack some cheese on here. And some onion. I whack this beautiful roast chicken. It's just one I brought from the supermarket. I just cut some bits off. Giddy up. That looks nicely cooked. Wouldn't you agree? Certainly hope so. And if you don't, I don't care. But now how about we whack the tomato on. The tomato. Tomates. Round red things. Tomatoes. And we'll add some bacon on. And this piece, it's for the chef. And now I've got one other piece of cheese here, which if I can find the opening, where is it? Who designed these things? How do you even get into them? Ah, here it is. This cheese on top will help hold it together. Right, over to the sandwich press. All right, the green light's telling me it's ready. Is it ready though? Oh, fuck yes it is! So let's whack this sandwich in and cook this bad boy up. Now before this top piece of bread goes on, I'll just give it a little quick flip. And I've got myself some Dijon mustard here. I'll spread some of this on. Oh! I don't want to squish it down too much, but I do at least want to make this horizontal. Come on, get flat sunshine. Oh God, I guess I've got to stand like this for the next five minutes while it cooks. Who invented this machine? Okay, well it hasn't been too long, it's only been a few minutes. Oh, and look at that. Looks like I've had a bit of a blowout on this side. That's what happens when you buy cheap bread. Let's dive on in for the owl. Chicken, Chicken bacon, bacon, cheese, cheese tomato, tomato, a little, a little, bit, little, of little bit of spring onion, onion, onion. Toast, toast, toast sandwich, sandwich. Toast toast toast. Toast. <laughs> Well, there we have it. Let's cut it in half. Giddy up to that. Okay, well, I never said it was going to win any beauty pageants, this toast sandwich. But like I said, it's not all about how you cut things up. It's about how they taste. Uh, 
and that. Tastes so good! There's enough calories in this to keep you charged and all day long. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, remember to show it some thumb and love. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time I cook something. Catch you then. Oh yeah, this is great.